Melee that I know of. Anyone can correct me on that, because I don't exactly follow Illegal Melee. But then with Melee, we've got like West Balls, Wobbles, Hungry Box. Hungry Box. The Puff himself. Hungry Box. Hungry Boxu. Hungry Boxu. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get right back into the next match. Hailin and Cetalon. Winner right, makes so it out. One important thing to note here, as Elkopot said, winner gets to top 24 with this. So, Hylan, I think, is in a better position to take this set. I think that he... Okay, I was about to say, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway... After the edge guarding that I just saw Seth Lon do, I was like, I don't think that's a good idea. So game one, we're going where else? Starville. Our, our home, Smashville. So Hyland is actually going to go with Toon Link here, which does actually equate to a pretty good option here because both Cloud and Roy do have pretty good range on their moves. Uh, but one thing that Seth Lon is really going to have to pay attention to is the fact that Toon Link has projectiles. Yeah, and I think in the Cloud Roy matchup, the important thing is is that Sethlon is going to get to be a lot more aggressive than Hyland gets to be with Cloud. And so with Toon Link, he can negate that aggression a little bit by throwing projectiles everywhere and saying, you can't just get up in my face because I'll hit you with a bomb and then an up smash or something. So right now, Sethlon's Seth going to show you what he's made of as he is just burning him up right here. Oh, goodness. But we cannot count. Hyland out. Hyland is just such an incredible player as it stands, and he definitely has quite a, quite a number of tricks up his sleeve. But that that shield bounce bomb and the instant catch throw is going to net him a little bit of percent, but... It's really four, interesting. Four Wispy does have stage control right now. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting to see how this one plays out because Hyland knows so much about the mechanics and the characters of this game, while Sethlon knows Smash. He's been playing for such a very long time, and Hyland knows. He, like, he's very familiar with the game, and Sethlon's familiar with Smash in general. And I just said the same thing no. twice, but oh. not familiar with what just happened there. That was just kind of a, kind of a, just a minor slip up there. But one, but sh really good shout outs to Hyland, showing the ability that he knows that he can tech that. Yep, teching <laughs> Teching is such an essential part of this game. Especially because of the way the ledge mechanics work. The way with ledge mechanics, a lot of characters' back airs just so happen to be really good. Also, their nares also be pretty good, as Cephalon showed us there with that nair closing out that stock and oh boy. to even this up. But those up tilts are gonna oh. come through. <laughs> Ooh, we so tried I, to do a really, a really strong mix up there. If he did, if he did get the meteor on that, and bounce Cephalon off the stage, he could have converted that into an up air, which I believe would be somewhere around 50%. Instead, he's stuck with Cephalon at 24%. Needs to find a punish and not get punished himself like that. Yeah, he's been in a pretty tough position, but as he's shown last time, he was able to 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 find a way to take this to coerced Cephalon to lose his stock before he would lose his. He's, yeah, he was, <laughs> he was able to convince him that... But that is not going to go quite as planned as Cephalon is going to get that middle F-tilt, and that's going to take game one. Cephalon is playing really well right now, significantly better than he was when we saw him just about half an hour ago. I mean, he pun incoming. He's turned up the heat. Sorry, people, I don't know why people don't like puns. Puns are awesome, but I'll also tell you what's awesome. He's deciding to go with Cloud here. Yeah, and you know, if Toon Link did, you know, it, it, got, it, it, it was right on the cusp of getting bodied, uh, as one would say. So I think Highland's just gonna switch to the Ooh. better character. Yeah, and overall, this is just a range battle. And in a game where, like Cephalon, oh. like Roy has to get really close in order to deal his good damage. Like his hitboxes are okay, but they don't, but they really lack the kill potential and power that the middle parts do. And so one thing that I would, that I would probably advise Highland to do oh. is to space as best as he can. He's not gonna, 
That finishing touch not quite going to pan out, and he's going to get struck with just a meaty forward smash from Cephalon. And that's going to put him in a bit of a worse position as he has left off stage again. That forward oh. air is going to take the stock whether he whether he left the blast zone or not. Jump yeah. was gone, and I don't think he was close to getting limit. And Cephalon is has opened this game up. It's going to be so hard for Highland to bring this back, especially since a lot of his kills come from hard reads like he was trying to find with that forward smash. And it's very hard to get that kind of stuff on Cephalon because he doesn't let you. He doesn't fall for it. It's very simple. Cephalon is well aware of the importance of mixing up your options and yet utilizing and that, all of them. And as, and as we're saying, it is a mixing up. He's demonstrated very good patience there, waiting for him to try to make a guess on when Stefan would come back up and ended up coercing that limit side break out of that limit that limit break side beat out Stefan has just been absolutely fearless this whole match he said all right you may you may have made some waves Highland but I'm about to I'm about to it's not it's not high tide no more I'm, I'm about to end this he says but Highland with the limit break could be ending this very soon. At least the stock. And that down smash is going to get punished for that tilt. That, that won't kill. Yes, it will. Never mind. He was at 150%. <laughs> I, uh, I like being proven wrong. It's my favorite thing. But this still puts Highland in a pretty precarious situation. <gasps> On oh, stage. oh my gosh. That was very. That could have resulted in his tournament doom there. Wow. Air dodging on was a bad idea. He's got only a couple of options. Oh, that's, and that's it. it! Just lightly tips him with the down tilt. And that Stefan is gonna make it through the top 24 loser's side. I don't think there is a loser's side. I think he just gets in. Oh, there is a yeah. loser's side. Basically how the bracket's gonna work this time, instead of them being re refiltered through and basically their wins and losses reset. You just get in. You just get in, like any traditional tournament. Like you look at, they will yes, be reseeded. It will be reseeded, but as far as if you're a winner bracket, if you made it through winners, hey, yeah, like if you made it to 